All right. Well, collecting coins is becoming more and more popular, and Mike Fulgens joins us to tell us all about some of the fun things that are going on with coins. And that's that. Are more people actually collecting coins these days? Yes, they are. You can attribute that to the state quarter program. You know, a okay. lot of kids put the quarters in. My did. Uh -huh. My kids did. Also, the presidential dollar series brought more kids into coins. And each year, we see more and more Boy Scouts getting their coin merit badge. Yes. I remember struggling that when I was a kid. <laughs> All right. What U.S. coin was most desired by the public? Well, back in 1964, mm. when uh, following the assassination of President Kennedy, mm. Congress, the President, and the U.S. Mint worked unlike they do today. They got together and within four months made the Kennedy half dollar. And it was just amazing. People lined up in front of banks. Five blocks in front of coin stores. We made five times as many that year as the year before. Wow. Okay. Well, what input did Jackie Kennedy have on the Kennedy half dollar? Well, Jackie was consulted about the design of Jack's um, coin after the death, and she added some hair to it. She wanted a little touch up on his hair. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Now, this is a really cool little history lesson that goes back with your family. What tie did your mother have to President Kennedy? Well, I have with that me is today so awesome. something that would be worth about three thousand dollars at auction. But this is a signed menu from a fundraiser that President Kennedy uh, attended in Lake Charles, Louisiana uh -huh. on October 16, 1959. My mother, being a history teacher, asked him to write something to her pupils, and he quoted Daniel Webster on this. Uh -huh. And this quote by Daniel Webster is part of what he wrote about in his Pulitzer Prize winning book, Profiles in Courage, by Jack Kennedy. Wow. And so, I mean, just kind of talk to me a little bit about how you treasure this. Well, my mother tells the story that when Jack Kennedy wrote that quote, he wrote the word develop halfway through for the quote, and Jackie leaned over and said, no, hon, it's build. He took her advice, crossed through develop, wrote build, and continued on. My uh -huh. mom was impressed. She thought he was charming, respectful to Jackie, and that Jackie looked like she came straight out of the beauty parlor, every hair in place. I bet she did, and she always did. She was oh, definitely, definitely a Camelot. gorgeous woman, absolutely. What is the most valuable coin you've handled this year? Well, I have it with me. It is a $5 gold piece, wow. which is called a half eagle. When our government set up our mint and our money system, an eagle was a $10 gold piece by definition. Okay. This is a half eagle from the first year our U.S. Mint made gold coins as real money. 1795 half eagle. It's better than anything in the Smithsonian. It's got a mirror surface, which means it's probably one of the first gold coins struck in this country in 1795 when George Washington was president. Uh -huh. It's as historic as it gets. It's beautiful. And it's worth over a half million dollars. Jeez. So I can go put it in the vending machine and get a Coke. Uh, you might need two. <laughs> exactly. Actually, three for our vending machine. That's right. So Nicole. awesome. Well, thank you so much for bringing that in. And of course, you know, you, you can't just carry that alone. No, yeah. I have uh, protection security here with here me. With, yeah. And I have security. And it's just a, you know, that was $5 back then. And today it's a half million. Coins wow. go up in value mm -hmm. as a quality collectible. And that's why it's, that's why it's something if look, people are looking to start collecting. Coins would be something to collect. They're a lot of fun, and we have more and more people coming to that area. All right. Well, as always, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. We'll see you next month. Thanks.